it! There's no end to it! Ah. Jump the scrap, yo! We'll talk later! That was... Boy, a freaking star, man! No problem, Yo, rendezvous point ain't far now. Finally get to meet our new British friend. Phillips said the guy's ex-MI6, a real agent, not some pencil pusher. So watch your back, all right? Hey, you even listening to me? Come on, focus. So listen up, man. Remember who you can trust. Look, all I'm saying is, multinational unit sounds all fine and dandy, but everyone's got their own agendas. And that includes us, you and me, brother. We trust each other and nobody else. It is what it is. Whoa, listen to me. We getting old, brother. Stop me if I'm boring you. What is that sarcasm? You got some balls, man. Whatever. Enough chatter. Let's get busy. Me? What's up? Another greeting party. So let's say hello. You all right, Dan? You need my help? Okay, don't be too reckless. You talking to me? What? Yo, we got other shit to do. Yeah, I'm fine. This ain't nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck that, bitches! Man, they just keep coming and coming. Guess the bastards never heard the word overkill.
No, they're human. And how in the hell can you tell that? Well, how in the hell can't you? Look at them. They're just kids. Huh. Weapon scavengers. Never seen them start this young. Nice guns. I could get a lot of money for those. Why don't you hand them over? Kid, it's two on one. And these guns are way bigger than yours. <laughs> huh? So much for two on one. Yeah. You know, killing kids isn't my idea of fun. Drop them. Now. Utsuno, do suno. Iyo, mo koroshicho yo, ni chan. They ain't green. Reckon they want to light us up. I wonder what their parents would be thinking of them now. Hey, I said to drop your weapons. Are you deaf? it wasn't quite finished. Happens sometimes with scrapheads. I've seen a lot of good soldiers taken out like that. Now, you were saying about our guns? Nah, I figure we owe you one now. So I've changed my mind. Well, how about that? Pretty dangerous work for kids. We do what we have to. Resistance pays good money for these scraphead weapons. Food on the table, you know. You should find a new line of work for these kids. Seems like most of them have forgotten how to smile. Like any of us has a choice. Look around you, Yankee man. No future! Come on, Dan. Ain't nothing we could do. Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like burger patties. All part of the thrill, right, brother? I'm telling you, man. Live around here long enough and we'd all wind up looking like them kids back there. No hope, no future. How'd it all end up this way, man? Baze? Where's that Rondi? Should be at your two o'clock. Look for a flashlight. Over there! Man needs new batteries. It's Morse code. I ain't seen that in years. What's next? Smoke signals? Whoa! We got company! <laughs> Let's give them a warm welcome. God damn it. They're in the air too! This is bullshit! I got the aerial unit! I'm gonna blow them out of the sky! Take 
digging your heels, man. Don't back down. Threat. Like that? We ain't no pushovers, bitches! Guess we bit off more than we could chew! Boy, ever get tired? <sighs> Shut up and jump! <laughs> that scrap head is really starting to bug me. Fire in the hole! Shit! Oh! oh! Everybody alive? Holler if you're dead. <coughs> you know, it's it's funny, but my uh, briefing said this was to be a covert operation. Come on. What can I say? I like to make an entrance. So, you must be Charlie. It's Commander Charles Gregory to you, thanks. British Division. Yeah, XMI six, right? I kind of guess that. Is it supposed to be me? Yeah. We all are. This is Lieutenant Rachel Townsend. Hmm. Sergeant Dan Marshall, ex-Special Forces. Sergeant Roy Botang, ditto. So, I'm to babysit you two then, yeah? Think you can stay out of trouble in future? What can I say? They started it. Base to be the one. The land clear base. Sorry to burden you with my clowns. No disrespect intended, sir, but you Yanks do tend to make a lot of noise. No to mean. Not all of us, Gregory. Just those two. So, where's everybody else? Well, the French are already inside the city. They said there'd be a Chinese squad, too. File photo doesn't do her justice. She looks familiar. Reminds me of an actress or someone. Come on, Bo, you know the only movies you watch are porn. <clears throat> oh, yeah, right, with the, hmm, yeah. <laughs> hey, watch this. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Dan, and that is my partner, Bo. Ni hao. Ah, the strong and silent type, huh? I like that in a woman. 
Maybe if you pair learnt some manners, she might not be so silent. Yeah, rough with the smooth, man. So, this is all China sent, huh? Just one woman? I am First Lieutenant Fei Li of the People's Liberation Army. My two subordinates were killed by security robots on the way here. Aw, oh, shit, listen. We didn't mean no disrespect. Hard to believe you're the one they called a survivor. Well, appearances can be deceiving. Ain't that special. Just real lucky. No luck? Well, that's good. Because we could all do with a bit of luck. Because the Japs consider anyone without official ID as an invading hostile. So, we're all in the crosshairs. Speaking of, sir, we'd better get moving. Right, Peter one to base. Now moving to first contact rendezvous. Roger that. Base out. Got some local help in the Shibuya flood zone. It's this way. And the 21st century started off pretty bad, and only got worse. Sea levels rose, climate went to hell, and three quarters of the major cities around the world were flooded, ruined, and uninhabitable. Local and national authorities rebuilt upward, above the waterline. Whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers the flood layers to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. I call them scrapheads. But then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amida Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge and Amida lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. And thanks to them, the USA is now the global superpower. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21, which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans. He seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention especially in Clause 21. We've got full support from the U.S. military, which is where I used to work anyway. <laughs> Some things never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan, because the U.S. suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada, legendary robotics genius and the founder Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva at any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrapheads that try to stop us along the way. Hm. I sure hope they try.
Right, we split the two teams from here onwards. One in the front, one bringing up the rear. I mean, at least one team makes it through should the worst happen. Yeah, well, I don't like hanging back, so I'll take point. Why can I remind you that I'm in command here? Not that I expect pulling rank would benefit your attitude. So, who do you fancy for your team, Sergeant? All right, let's go. Our contact is waiting. He's rather chipper. What, what, old boy? <laughs> and what if we get busted by some scrapheads again? Shoot them. That's what you Yanks are best at, isn't it? Huh. See? He's not so bad. Say, Sergeant, this may prove a touch off topic, but are you partial to a tipple? Oh, not this again. Well, Sergeant, I'd wager you could hold your liquor. I figured. When the mission's done, there's a stiff drink waiting for me. I couldn't keep this business up without knowing that. Charlie, focus on the mission. Team building is an essential element of mission cohesion, young lady. Surveillance bots. The pairs, they're searching for us. Our route takes us through there. Stay sharp. Assault mechs at 12 o'clock. They don't appear to have noticed us yet. Let them close in, then take the initiative. Hold your fire until I give the cue. Understood? Do as I say here. There could be other enemies lurking. We should play it safe. Dan, please. Listen to Charlie. Now! Fire at will! You're really something special. This is a girl. We got some nasty customers. Kill me! Reloading! 
residual point without contact should be around here. Let's tidy up first. Watch it, you Yankee bastard. Here's something. The Grand Lancer! Everyone, take cover! Our weapons won't even dent its armor. We need to think of something. Do something quickly! You said what? <sighs> this isn't going very well. Dan, let me handle this. An RPG should teach them a lesson. RPG time! Take that! Oh, forget it! That's it, We're it's in working! Combat now. Keep it up! Right! It won't go down as easy as I thought. HQ, can you read me? We need some intel on taking out a Grand Lancer. Any suggestions? I think I can help. Our intelligence office just sent some data on that model. Always one step ahead. Well, let's have it. It seems its drive system is in its head. Destroy that. You stop it dead in its tracks. It's head, eh? And the most effective way to hit it there would be. Oh. I'll leave the details up to you. Good luck. Rock team, you heard HQ! The head! So, how to destroy its drive system? Sergeant, so if you leap onto it, it's safe on the roof. You lure it to the building to make it easy as possible. Head up to the roof and stand by. Don't let me down. Sergeant, get back on that roof! Take this! Certainly tougher than expected. Of course, if we can't handle the enemy down here in the slums, we may as well pack it in. I'm sure this is nothing compared to what we'll face in the upper city. Still, if this was an easy job, they wouldn't have called us in. So on we go, all right?
Dan, are you still with us? Damn it, man, snap out of it! Do you hear me? Then I guess we'll have to put it down to cultural differences. You bemuse me. Believe it or not, I do have some faith in you. Praise from the commander. That's a rare thing. Try smiling once in a while. That's enough. We don't want to keep our contact waiting. The rendezvous point with our contact is beyond this shutter. Let's move. Gregory, we've reached the objective. Rendezvous here. Understood. Approaching now. Why do people like you always make so much noise? Bit of an occupational hazard, that is. Here to see Mathune. Tell him Charlie's here. Never heard of you? Never heard of him? Can't help you! Your, your, your order, please. <whistles> One of my regulars did a number on him. Huh. You gonna fix him? What's the point? He'll get bashed in again. <sighs> nice to know you're appreciated, huh? Look, I don't want any trouble. Just trying to make a living here. I'll take a beer. Well, shit, pretty lady. All you had to do was ask. Uh, sushi's on the house. Thank you. So, now maybe you can tell us, where's Mifune san? I told you. I never heard of him. Guy! Look, mate, we don't have time to piss about. Where is Mifune? He's here. What? He's watching us through this scraphead. Not bad, Yankee man. Don't blame the barkeep. He didn't know. Mifune? What the bloody hell is this? Change of plans. Head for the underground mall. I'll have someone meet you there. Unbelievable. What's your name, Yankee man? Dan. Why? I've got my eye on you, Dan. <laughs> See? Waste the money! Right, I've set coordinates to the objective. Let's go. Oh, uh, do me a favor and use the back door. You people don't exactly blend in around here. Thanks, brother. Base to Beetle 2. Our intel says Mifune is a smuggler. Specializes in weapons and technology banned in Japan. That sounds typical. That all you got? Afraid so. Mifune isn't even his real name. All we've got to go on is his rep. Yeah, don't sweat the details, Base. Just leave it to me. You know something I don't, Gregory? Well, I don't know, Major. Do you have extensive operational experience dealing with underworld crooks? 
Just be careful. All of you. Peace out. You're right. I'm liking this guy more and more. All right, let's go. Mifune is waiting. Maybe a supply depot or something? But it's pretty run down. This door doesn't look like it's going to budge. What do you suppose we should do? Hey! This robot might still work. Even has some battery power left. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Do you require our charging service? Fill that tank with fuel. Make sure to top it off. As you wish. Enemy transport. For what? I don't know what this is about. Charging has completed. Thank you for your patronage. That may move the fuel tank. You keep a lookout. Oh man, 
Let the good times roll. I hate to see your idea of a bad time. Hope and fire! giant spider, huh? I don't think any of us expected that. Looks like the Ministry of Homeland Affairs really doesn't want us here. I knew it had been too easy so far. Security will only get tighter now. So much for your usual bravado. Got a grip. And I'm counting on you, Dan. That survivor nickname actually means something, right? Good, so we should move. And we can't afford to engage that monster spider. Understood? Take that as a yes. Let's go. There's nowhere else to go, so let's try getting up this building. Well, isn't that honest of you? Since you feel bad. Thank <laughs> you. 